Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and today I want to talk about Woopra, 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 W-O-O-P-R-A dot com. Woopra is a great website, which gives you a service to give you some nice, pretty graphs and analytics to track your website. So what is Woopra? They say it right here. Woopra is the world's most comprehensive, information-rich, easy-to-use, real-time web tracking, an analysis application and it's free baby free so that's cool so I first saw Woopra on geekbrief.tv a few weeks ago and I was enamored by it I was I was impressed because you know there were some nice pretty graphs real good real-time stats and I signed up immediately problem was when you sign up you're not necessarily in per se you have to wait for them to approve your website and the only way you can get instant approval is if you have some sort of a beta code, which I didn't have. So it's been about a month, I think, a month and a half since I first signed up and installed. And I finally got approved for my websites. And now I'm able to run Whoop. I've been running it for about a day now. And uh, I've been very impressed. I'm glad I signed up. I'm glad I waited. Now, you can download a client for Whoop. From the website, they give you the basic statistics but not what you see in the screenshot here you go to the download link here you can download Woopra for Windows Mac OS 10 and Linux there's also a WordPress plugin a vBulletin plugin and a Drupal plugin so what I'm gonna show you is I'm on Mac OS 10 now I'm gonna give you a guided tour on what's going on on Woopra on Buona.org Radio.Buona.org and Buona.tv. I set it up on those three websites. At the top, you'll see tabs for each one of the websites I have configured. There's Buona.org. Click on Radio.Buona.org and Buona.tv. Every time I click on a tab, the resulting windows below will change to reflect what I've clicked on on that website up there. At the top left, you'll see all-time visits, today's visits, today's page views for Buona.org. For radio.buona.org, you can see the same numbers, and for buona.tv. So for the rest of this, I'm just going to focus on buona.org since I seem to have live viewers now. This big number here tells me I have two live viewers, but you can also see total page views at the top, average page views. You can see total, I'm sorry, today's visits and average visits, and you can also see today's visits and today's page views. But I was looking at live because I got two live users. I know who one of them is, but I don't know who the other one is. Now, on the left side, you'll see several links dashboard, live, search, analytics, and manage. The dashboard shows you an overview of daily and hour statistics, hits and visits, daily and hourly, and the content at which people are visiting in terms of landings, exits, hits and the average time they spent on each individual page and you can see on Buona.org my main page is the most popular followed by the iPhone 3G review I did broadcasting audio to Ustream.tv my live stream enhancing your Ustream video feed and so on and so forth you can also see a list of referrers and sources in the top ones so far Google is my top one followed by Ustream and YouTube and you can see searches so what people search for in the search engines and how they actually got to your page and then you can also list people by the site and country that they've come from and that's the dashboard so it gives you a, a, a overview of what's going on hey look I got a, a third user so I got three users now you see the graph kinda growing there and if you get a lot of visitors on your site you're gonna see a lot of activity so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this and you can see on the map here I just clicked on live there's three dots I got one in Jacksonville I know who that is and two in the United States and this gives you a, a live geographical view of what's going on and you can zoom in by country so since all of these are in the United States I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the United States and wait for it to refresh and let's see and go okay I guess that didn't work let's try it again this time I'm gonna do United States 
Okay, it won't let me filter. Well, I guess that is a filter. I thought it would zoom in for me, but I guess it won't. Oh, well. One can only hope, right? <laughs> so now I'm down to two, so I've been fooling around here. <laughs> I only got two users now. All right, so over here on the left, you'll see, I mean, I'm sorry, over here on the right, you'll see details as to the visitors. You'll see what page they're on, the navigation path, and their history. So you can see the page views, total visits, if they're repeat viewers, if they're first time viewers. Now there's a link in here to actually view their uh, IP address and where they're coming from and all that, all, you know, their, their browser user agent. So what type of browser they're using. I'm hiding that for obvious reasons. I don't want to expose people's IP addresses here. But as you can see, you know, visitor number 83, this was his first time here. Visitor number 48, well, I don't think that was his first time here. I don't know. We'll have to see. But uh, <laughs> um, this is the live view, and this will show you what's going on right now, who's on your website right now. It's very cool. You can search for visitors. Your analytics, you can view the um, visitor visitors graph. You can view by browser. So this is cool. You can see which web browsers are being used for your website. Popular pages. This is a great site. This, I mean, this is a great page where you can see what sites are most popular on your website. And this is something that I'm gauging. My blogs and my uh, Buona.tv especially, I can see uh, which of my most popular ones. Actually, let's go and look at that right now. Let's go to analytics, system, I'm sorry, popular pages. And my live page is currently the most popular. Um, that's the main page. And then Google Chrome First Impressions, which was my latest video at the time of this recording and landing pages exit pages so this is just data upon data referrals search engines direct media you know what search queries we're using to get on this site so all this information is available on the analytics tab and finally there's manage where you can create event notifications on things that are happening or you can do a custom live map and I think this is what I saw on geekbrief.tv they created a custom live map and uh, you can apply different image logos to your map and uh, I think this is great for export purposes so you can see your users behavior on your website so this is Wooprise. as you can see there's a lot of data to comprehend but if you are a webmaster you you know that this data is very important if you're trying to decide you know what you should do different with your site what things you should change if people are coming to your site and leaving quickly you know maybe you should give them some incentive to stay and uh, you know what types of content are drawing the most amount of users so if you're looking to expand your website if you're looking to grow these are the types of things that you will look for and Woopra will give you a mechanism to do so absolutely free all you need to have is some patience because they're gonna take a while to send you that activation code now if you want to see a, a quick glimpse of what's going on there's a crawler at the bottom which tells you for the current tab we're in you know total page views page visit page views per visit average time spent for page visits today new visitors and all of that pertinent information that you can see from Woopra if you go to the home page you can see a quick view as well as to page views and visits for the day for each one of your sites you have configured and this is the application it runs in Mac Windows and Linux you can download after you install Woopra alright this is Buona from Buona.tv and this is Woopra.com sign up today and I uh, hope you get great information from these statistics from these statistics <laughs> enjoy